Hi guys, Hualim here. If you want to learn how to create a beautiful website without having to learn all the confusing coding and HTML languages, then this video is for you. In this tutorial, I'll be going through the various features and teach you how to use Wix ADI. If you find this video useful, please help to like and share so that more people can benefit from this. If you want to learn more about online marketing and digital skills for your business and career, do subscribe to this channel and click on the notification icon so that you will get updated whenever I upload a new video. Wix is a powerful website builder you can use to create your website by just clicking and dragging. It has two primary builders you can use, Wix ADI and Wix Editor. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Wix ADI. Wix ADI is a good option if you are looking to create a website fast. It generates a design for you based on what you tell it. If you are looking for full control and customization of your website, check out my other tutorial for Wix Editor instead. I'll put the link in the description below so that you can compare and see which version suits you better. With that out of the way, let's jump right into my screen and get started. To start creating your website, you need to have an account with Wix. If you are not sure how to sign up or log in to your Wix account, check out my video on Introduction to Wix. That video will show you step by step how you can sign up or log in to your Wix account. Again, I'll put the link to that video in the description below. Once you are in your Wix account, you want to click on Create New Site. This will take you to a screen where you will be asked to fill up some questions about the website that you are creating. Usually for me, I will skip this question because I think this question doesn't really matter. What I want is just to get started with creating my website. So I'm going to click on the skip button located at the bottom right side of the screen. I want to skip right ahead to this screen where they allow me to choose between creating a website using Wix ADI or Editor. I'm going to choose Wix ADI and once that's done, they'll be asking me a few more questions. From here, you want to add in the name of your business or website. I'm going to call this website HL Interior Design and click on Next. If you already have an online presence, either an existing website or registered with Google Business, you can tap in the URL and let Wix import your content. If not, simply click on either Skip or next. Next, you want to review and edit your information. If you have an existing logo, you can add that in now. If not, don't worry, you can always get the logo in later. By the way, Wix also has the ability to help you create a professional logo for your business. If you are interested to find out how to do that, let me know in the comments below and I will consider doing up a video on that in the future. You can enter more details like your business address, phone number, fax, and even social account links. This detail will allow Wix to add them in your website. I'm just going to leave them blank for now since I can always add them in later if I want to. With the basic details out of the way, you are now going into choosing the design for your website. On this screen, you are going to pick a theme you like. Mouse over the six options on your screen to get an idea on the type of fonts and colors and choose the theme that you like. For me, I'm going to go with Loft, so I'm going to click on that and continue. On this screen, I'm going to choose a home page design. There are three options here and again, you can mouse over them to get a sense of how each of them looks like. Don't worry too much about which to choose because you can always change them later. I'm going to go with the center design. Finally, I'm going to choose the pages that I want to include in my website. One smart feature about Wix ADI is that it will recommend the pages that you need based on the information you have entered so far. For this website that I'm creating, I'm going to choose the About, Services, FAQ, contact, and testimonials. Once I'm done with my selection, I'm going to click on edit site. 
With all the questions and selection done, Wix is now going to generate a website for you. And once that's done, you'll be brought to the Wix ADI screen where you can start to customize your website. Let's now take a look at the menu for Wix ADI. Wix ADI interface is fairly straightforward and clean. The menu is located right at the top here. Starting from the top left, you have the option to manage your web pages. You can click on this function to switch between the various pages on your site. You can also edit your site menu. Rename pages or add more pages. Next, there's an add function here. You can use this function to add section to page, add page, or even add apps like online programs, groups, chats, or even more. Moving on under the design function, you can design theme, colors, fonts, animations, or even page designs. Remember the theme you choose earlier? This is where you can change the theme. If you click on the Customize Site Design button, you can customize the colors, fonts, animation, or reset it to default. Alternatively, you can also click on the Design function and go directly to customize the colors, fonts, and animation. Next, if you have added any apps, like for example, Chat or Store, you can also go to Manage to manage your apps or business tools. Moving on, we have the undo and redo button here. Your website is also automatically saved, so you don't have to worry about saving your work. On the top right side here, we have the option to view and edit our site in either desktop or mobile view. There's also a site button with the various commands like going over to your dashboard, settings, notifications, upgrade, preview, and publish. Designing your website with Wix ADI is fairly straightforward. Before you start editing your website, you want to note that your website is normally divided into three main parts. Header, body, and footer. The body is subdivided into various sections depending on how and what you want to include for your web page. Regardless of whether you want to edit the header, footer, or the various sections, the way to do it is similar. Click on the section you want to edit and you will see a left menu appearing. Located at the top of the left menu is where you can choose the design for that section. Click on it and you will be able to see various designs that's available for you. Scroll down to see the various designs and choose the one that you like. Once you have decided, click on it to choose it. You can further customize the section design by clicking this button here and you will see the various customization options. For example, if you want to change the image, click on Media. Here, you can replace or adjust the image. Let's click on Replace to see how to change the image. On this pop-up screen, you have four options for your images. You can either choose your free stock images from Wix or Unsplash. The third option is to check out images from Shutterstock, which usually costs $2.99 per image. The fourth option is to use your own images. You can click on Upload Media to upload your own images to your website. For this demo, I'm going to use the free images available. And to save time searching for millions of images, I'm going to use the search to search for my image. Once you have found the image you want, click on it and then click Apply. This will bring you back and you can see your image has been replaced. You can also change the layout of your image by choosing whether you want it to be in the background, full image, or column. You can also position your image accordingly. 
there are more customization options below and if you're not sure which option is better, simply try them out and see how it looks. Once you are done, click on back located at the top left side and you can continue to edit your section. Here, you can edit the title, subtitle and the remaining elements in the section. On the right side here, you can see the little circle. If you want the element to appear, click to tick the circle. Click again to remove the tick and the element will be hidden. My advice is to try out all the elements here and see how it looks like on your page. Once you are satisfied, you can close this left menu by clicking on the cross located at the top right side of the menu. When you mouse over the sections, you can see the three dots or section actions. Here, you can duplicate the section, move the section to another page, adjust the height of the section or delete it. You can also move the section up and down the page by using the up or down arrow located at the top right side of the respective sections when you mouse over them. If you want to add a new section, you can mouse over and use the plus option or use the add function at the top menu. As you can see, Wix ADI is fairly intuitive and it makes it easy to use. I would say the interface has good learnability design and you should get the hang of it once you play around with it. These are basically the things you need to know about Wix ADI interface. I hope this tutorial will get you started with creating your own website and I'll encourage you to explore the various features and you will find yourself getting the hang of it. Have fun creating your website and remember to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.